ladies and gentlemen. Hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Zobit Potato. Welcome back to Paraspora, where the CO2 levels are low and the oxygen levels are much higher. Worryingly so. There is almost certainly going to be a fire. Uh, that was weirdly poetic and probably prophetic. Um, I should probably stop now. Uh, anyway, welcome back. Welcome back to Paraspora. We had a big old fight in the last episode. It was pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty happy with, uh, with how it went. Um, what I'm not happy about is how unbelievably, terribly the base, the main base is performing. I guess it doesn't particularly matter. Uh, really, we've got a rescue strategy in place. Hopefully, we should be able to, to roll it out, uh, at some point soon. Uh, the maintenance facility over here needs to do a little bit of heavy lifting to make sure that everything that everything truly gets back up and running otherwise we are going to we are going to see uh we are going to see some problems emerging uh, no doubt but you know that's that's not necessarily our only uh, our only strategy uh we got a we got a, a thing of a bobber up here we got a base up here we got a little base over here we got a little base over here it's all good okay so short term strategy is making this area you know habitable for colonists very very important that we that we get this area habitable for colonists we need to increase we need to increase our maximum uh, building limit by, well, 400, I think it is, that uh, that Researching Engineering 4 gives us. So we need to do that. We need to do that pretty soon, actually. So all that we really need to do is maintain a pretty consistent... Uh, a pretty consistent strategy of, uh, of making sure that this area is, is fooded and watered, and that should... That should keep us, that should keep us in a pretty darn good place. And in fact, we probably want to expand. We probably want to expand the number of colonies that we have over here. So that's, that's something that we will almost certainly do. This area is looking pretty good as well. This area is looking not too bad. Must say that I'm not too displeased with how it's, how it's operating. I don't understand. I do not understand why these worker hubs are not getting built. We have the steel. We definitely have the steel. I know we have the steel. We have 104 steel here. And yet we're just not seeing these worker hubs actually be built. Kind of makes me think that perhaps there is still, you know, uh, a bug or, or something that means the resources aren't actually getting delivered. Uh, I'm really not entirely sure why. Either way, we recently got two areological scanners uh, over here. Hopefully we're going to see if we can try and expand and... Uh, and get a few more roboports, a few more bits up and running. And then once we've really established this base over here, I'm hoping that we're going to be able to hopefully, theoretically, uh, reconnect to the main base and uh, and hopefully save it from itself. Save myself from myself. Will that work? I don't know. 23 months, 24 months before we finish up this engineering research. That's actually fairly, it's actually fairly short. It's actually fairly short indeed. Uh, it seems like even though the rest of the base is is in a state of disarray. Also, I need so much more food for these colonists. I need a lot more food for these uh, for these colonists here. This food factory. This food factory. This food factory is is gathering. Oh, it's uh, yeah. It's because it's because we're it's because we're building it. It's because we're upgrading it. That's uh, that's exactly what we're doing. All right, cool. That's fine. Just wanted to make sure that I wasn't going completely crazy. Do we have much water over here? We do not. We need more water, and we're actually out of water. Uh, that's an issue. That's a real issue. This water extractor has extracted its last gosh darned water. Which means that Mars will yet again become inhospitable for humans, as we are not going to be able to... Ah, oh, building limit reach. Uh, because we're not going to be able to find uh, another water source for at least a little while. The areological scanner needs to needs to work in overtime. Hopefully, that will be the case. I still would I still would put the most stock in in this uh, in this little micro base being successful. That's that's what I'm saying. Uh, okay, the maintenance facility here is is done. It's done. I, I don't think this area is going to work. At least, I don't think it's going to work in the short term. It's going to work in the long term. I am supremely confident that every single area is going to work in the long term. As far as I see it, it's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time. Right, we've got one, two areological scanners over here as well. Let's get this wind farm built. Let's get it built at a top priority as well. 
Yeah, okay, all right. This is looking, it's looking good. It's looking good. It's look, well, it's not looking good, but it's looking fine. It's looking okay. Uh, that Aquadome is rubble. It's a good thing too. Biodome is also rubble. I hope that we're going to stop polluting the atmosphere with oxygen at some point. That's my main goal. If that could happen kind of soon, then that would be, that would be really, really excellent. Also, if I could find another water source at some point soon, that would also be similarly really, really excellent. Uh, yeah. Is it worth me throwing down a different, a different, another areological scanner? Honestly, think I probably need to. Think I probably, probably need to. Yeah, we're running at just about capacity over here as well. But again, we're kind of waiting for this, we're kind of waiting for this Engineering 4 to, to get finished. Um, yeah. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Maybe something that we should do. Something that we should do. Is something that I should have done perhaps uh, a little bit of a long time ago, actually. Uh, we should see if we can try and connect up these two areas. Uh, also, I should just... Can I abandon? I can't abandon... I can't abandon those buildings over there. I can abandon some forms of rubble. Yeah, so pending scrap isn't going to make a difference. I need to I need to find the the buildings that are well and truly rubbled. But at the same time, I don't want to I don't want to destroy buildings which can, you know, reasonably easily be put back together rather like Humpty Dumpty. Uh but a lot of these a lot of these a lot of these need to be properly scrapped. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm hmm hmm. hmm. Okay, all right. That's that's not exactly ideal. Not exactly ideal. I was, was kind of hopeful that we could maybe do something a little bit more swiftly here. As it stands, we have to find water over here. We have to find water over here. The reason being, if we don't find water, we are not going to be able to make food. If we are not able to make food, then that presents a massive problem in terms of pushing forward our research. Now, these areological scanners are working overtime. We do know that. We do know that. But, you know, similarly, there is a limit. There is a limit as to how much they can actually do. Uh, our iron supplies are pretty low. This represents the entirety of our iron resource at the moment. Iron is, of course, turned into steel. Steel is very, very useful. We we like this. We like this a lot. Uh, we like we like steel big time steel is very very important But if we can't find more if we can't find more resources, then we will be forever having problems Which is why we are working so darned hard to find resources uh, Similarly if I want to if I want to connect up this area by hyperloop to this area Which I absolutely want to do as a priority. I have to increase I have to increase the uh, the cap the building cap Without it, we will we will just not be able to do anything. We will just not be able to do anything. Uh, similarly, if we wanted to produce food over here, I guess we could. You know, I guess we could. I guess we could put a colony down over here. I guess we could put a colony down over here. Let's let's actually do that. We we have a rather large number of resources, but of, of course, building cap. Keep forgetting the building cap is the building cap is what's really holding me back more so than literally anything else. Structural integrity is at zero. Yeah, we can fix this area. We can do this. We can do this. I believe that we can do this. It's a it's a tight it's a tight spot to be in, but we actually have like a ridiculously large number of people living on Mars. We got ten food and zero water. Yep. That's the that's the problem. That is the crux of the problem. Technology is due to be researched in 17 years, and that's only going to continue to get worse. That's only going to continue to get worse. Yeah, that's kind of bonkers. That's kind of bonkers when you think about it. That's kind of bonkers. And still no water. There's no way that we can just use... There's no way that we can just use the water that we have now created on Mars... Uh, these maintenance facilities, they can't even be rebuilt. That's the that's the really irritating thing. Do we have a worker that's still going, by the way? We don't. We don't have a worker that's still going, I don't think. Uh yeah. So we really are 
we really are in a bit of a in a bit of a pickle here. We'll turn off that aquadome because we absolutely categorically do not need any more any more oxygen. We are we are fine for oxygen. There must be there must be some buildings that I can scrap. There must be some buildings that I can scrap. Uh, research outpost. I don't think there is any buildings that I can scrap. There's a lot of there's a lot of things that have fallen into disrepair, but I think I might have scrapped all of the buildings that were destroyed by the enemy the enemy robots last time. Uh, ditch that solar farm. Maybe. Yeah, I don't think. Uh, we can't even we can't even tell we can't even tell this maintenance facility to be deconstructed. Solar farm pending scrap. Yeah, but there's no robots here to do any of the scrapping. Well, tell a lie, actually. There is a singular robot. There is a very, very, very singular robot that is... that is working on the scrapping. Uh, could I... I mean, if I could tell everything... If I could tell everything to be deprioritized, that would make my life a heck of a lot easier. Yeah, we're making exactly zero progress on research. Please tell me, video game, that you found at least one bit of water that we can make some progress on. Without water, we're gonna... We're gonna continue to be in a pickle. We're gonna continue to be in a pickle. This area doesn't get magically better. Uh, how do we fix this? You know what? Let's bring this hyperloop. Let's bring this hyperloop up online, okay? Let's 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 work at this. Let's work at this from the other angle, okay? Drone hive that needs to be scrapped. This hyperloop needs to get built. We need to connect the hyperloop to here, right? And that's going to be done as soon as it's built. Boom! We get that up and running, okay? So that's pretty easy for us to do. It's pretty easy for us to do. It's very very cheap. We should have all of the materials right here. What does that mean for us? What does that mean for us? Well, it means that hopefully we should, we should theoretically be able to get access to all of this stuff over here. Whether that necessarily is the case, uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see. If we're able to, if we're able to rebuild this area, then that would at least be a step in the right direction. We have all of the resources needed to, to just sort of, to blossom to blossom into this area here. I actually, yeah, I actually think that this is probably the strategy. I actually think that this is uh, almost certainly the strategy. Right. The problem is, though, is that are we going to commit wholesale to the rest of the base? Do we have enough? Do we have enough, do we have enough workers over here to, to supply what needs to be supplied? Uh, that's a great question. Maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to deconstruct a couple of buildings and that'll get us across the line. Areological scanners are not finding anything. Are not finding anything at all. Hmm. Not, not exactly ideal. Okay. Carbon, we need carbon, but, uh, but carbon is coming along just fine. More carbon would obviously be great. But once we get this up and running, we will be fine. Okay, we're in, we're in, a, you know, we're in a bit of a, a, bit of a bind, to be honest. We're in a bit of a bind. Additional landing sites, we should be able to get that up and running soon. Unlock Sector 3, we're almost there. Unlock Sector 7, we're almost there. Once we've done that, we can probably disassemble our spaceports, if need be. Okay, we are connected now. We are connected, that's excellent. So, this should mean, this should theoretically mean that this worker factory, which has access to functionally infinite numbers of resources, should be able to should be able to pump out new workers, and maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to get uh, good parts of this base back up and running. It's it's wishful thinking. It's absolutely categorically wishful thinking. Will it work? I hope so. I hope so. We got a lot of we got a lot of potential. We got a lot of potential. We got a lot of potential writing on the backs of these of these poor robots over here. Yeah. Okay. I don't know how far they'll go from their from their house though. Okay, let's deprioritize these. Deprioritize that. Deprioritize that. Deprioritize 
this as well. The first priority, the first priority always needs to be maintenance of this outpost. By connecting it up to the... By connecting it up to the... Uh, let's reconnect this here. Um... By connecting it up to the to the general network, we have we have put ourselves at risk, you know, and that is that is noteworthy. That is absolutely noteworthy. Means that there are definitely there are definitely risks. There are definitely risks that we just sort of spend all of our resources from this landing site on absolutely nothing. That is a big concern. Very, very big concern. It's not like we've got, you know, an infinite number of resources. This iron mine is is certainly getting on, certainly getting on, and uh, and I worry for what happens when that, when that uh, when that's all finished. I hope I hope that we prioritize things that are. I hope that we prioritize things that are uh, that are sort of close to home. So let's get this maintenance facility up and running. If we can get the maintenance facilities up and running, then that will that will serve will serve a lot of purposes because there's a lot of good stuff here there's a lot of good stuff here it's just about it's just about making sure that it's all operational not operative not operative presumably because of power yeah presumably because of power irregular terrain could I actually connect up these two networks over here I'm kind of close to being able to do this. Are we able to do that in one single worker hub? Oh boy, we're close. One single worker hub. That's 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 all the building capacity that we have at the moment. That's literally all the building capacity that we have at the moment. We've got one free building. It has to be It has to be one worker hub. Is that it? Has he nailed it? I don't think he's done it. I don't think he's done it. I think he's I think he's messed it up. Uh, speaking of himself in the third person, of course. Something something arrogant and pretentious. We are so close. We are so close. This is the most crucial placement of, of any building ever. Is there is there actually like a place that I can do it? Maybe I didn't actually maybe I didn't actually see it. Maybe I was imagining it. Oh no, it's there. That's it. We got it. Okay, that is that is long freaking range. That is long freaking range, but that is that is enough. That is absolutely categorically enough. Okay. So, we prioritize building this worker hub. And actually, we've been we've been freed a little bit. We've been freed a little bit. Let's get a wind farm right over here. Yeah, we need to maintain. We need to ideally maintain connections to both networks. Is that possible for us to do? Uh, that might not even be possible to do. You know what? I think that we can afford to spend... I think that we can afford to spend two... We can afford to spend two buildings on this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's delete the worker hub here. Prioritize that scrap as well. Okay. So that's good. That's good. Let's get rid of that scrap from the worker hub. Excellent, and then we're gonna build we're gonna build one last power structure, which I think should should complete the networks. Yeah, there we go. So we do that and that should join that should join things together. Uh, I may want to actually replace that. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, delete it, scrap it, my bad, my bad, my bad. Uh yeah, let's get a let's get a wind farm right here. Making sure, making absolutely certain that it is within the range of the maintenance facility because, of course, the maintenance facility is what matters here. Deprioritize the solar farm. Deprioritize the polymer factory. 
worker hub. Maintenance facility is up and running. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, I cannot believe that we're actually pulling this back. That's pretty excellent. Okay, wind farm is looking good. Okay, it turns out that we did end up connecting the two networks together, which does mean that there are some temporary power shortages on this side of the network, but that's okay. Also, we need to make sure that we have appropriate maintenance facility coverage over here. And that's, ah, it's because it's just, uh, it's because it depowered. Okay, fine. Well, that power issue is, is going to be short-lived, no doubt, because we will very, very swiftly, very, very swiftly build a good number of wind farms. As soon as we possibly can, of course, because our building limit has been reached, which is ridiculous, but whatever. We're getting there. Have we discovered water over here? Just one water source, please. One stinking water source over here. And we're good. Otherwise, we're going to have to connect these two these two areas up. And that kind of terrifies me, to be honest. Either way, this is looking so good. This is looking so unbelievably good now. Okay, so it seems like the robots are very wisely deciding to prioritize working on missions that are close to home. We still have very, very few, very, very few robots. But at the end of the day, very few robots is something to work with. Uh, food, we can make food. We can make food, but I mean, it's not exactly going to go anywhere. Not for, not for a wee while. Wind farm, that wind farm needs to be prioritized. And I tell you what, let's, let's get a couple of batteries. Let's get a couple of batteries. Of course, we can't get a couple of batteries. We don't have the ability to get batteries. That's, that's not something that we can do. No, of course not. Don't be ridiculous. Don't be ridiculous, potato. Don't be ridiculous. Polymer factory needs input. Needs chemicals? Uh, we're, we're working on chemicals. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. We're, we're good for now. Okay. Still at 29. Still at 29 workers. It's higher than it's been in a long time. But way down from that peak. Holy cow, that's crazy. Right. Uh, in terms of... Oh, this is looking so this is looking so much better. I think that power I think that power plant was the only one that we really needed. Uh there is still a little bit of a hole in the maintenance network, but it's literally two buildings. Literally two buildings. I do want to make sure that it's covered though. I do want to make sure that it's covered, so we are going to try and place that as soon as we possibly can, as soon as our building cap is 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 lifted. Uh I think I think that we are going to be able to do a little bit of research. We are going to be able to do a little bit of research over here. It's not exactly going to be super fast. It does say that we're going to be done in three years. We should place a colony. We should try and place a colony. At least some colony in some form or another. Uh, we could also maybe delete these worker hubs. Uh, a building was deleted recently. I don't know what it was. Let's build a colony. Let's build a colony because we need to speed up the pace of our research here. No power. Uh, yeah, okay, so that's going to be a massive problem if we do decide to build a colony. Of course, those colonies require 60 megawatts of power, and uh, we ain't got 60 megawatts of power. Not even freaking close. Let's instead get a maintenance facility over here. Instead, let's get a maintenance facility over here. We're going to be able to build it super duper quickly, because I suspect that this lander still has a, a good number of resources on board. Yeah, a lot of resources still on board. A lot fewer electronics, but... It's better than nothing. It's absolutely better than nothing. Are we... Are we saving the base? We're not really saving the base. We're not really... We're not really saving the base. Yeah, we're not really doing much. It looks like what we have done is enough to sort of limp forward and get ourselves a little bit of extra research progress. But it's... But it's not really enough. It's not really enough. Uh, we could really benefit from a fusion reactor here. We could really, really benefit from a fusion reactor here. A fusion reactor would be great. Unfortunately, these power cuts, I suspect, are entirely down to uh, down to wind being absolutely garbage uh, from time to time. It does happen. It does tend to happen. It does tend to happen fairly rapidly, actually. But uh, but there we go. Maintenance facility needs to come back online when there's power. That's fine. And actually, speaking of power, we need to add an additional power unit over here to supply to the iron mine and also to the steel factory. That will make a difference. Right. I should slowly but surely start reclaiming 
I should slowly but surely start reclaiming a couple of these buildings out here. So, you know, just the random worker hubs, the random solar panels. A lot of these buildings should be scrappable with minimal impact. I think. I hope. And we should be able to do it with the, the robots that we have in store at the moment. We should be producing workers pretty rapidly. In fact, it might even be worth us getting an upgrade here uh, on this specific worker factory. In fact, you know what? Let's do it. Let's absolutely do it. There we go. Upgrading. Boom. And that's going to allow us to pump out workers a heck of a lot faster. It's going to put a little bit of an additional strain on our power system. But it does mean that we're going to be able to repopulate the number of workers very, very quickly. I mean, look at this. This is this is quite ludicrous, actually. Have we found water over here? We haven't found water over here. We haven't found water. That's so unbelievably infuriating. Because it does mean that we're going to have to follow through and get ourselves... Delete that worker hub. Yeah, delete that worker hub. We're going to replace it with a colony. It might place additional strain on our power grids. Uh, in fact, it almost certainly will place additional strain on our power grids. But I think it's the right thing to do. We need this research done. It's going to alleviate so many of these... Uh, so many of these... These nagging issues that are continuing to... That are continuing to face us. Either way, this is... This is looking excellent. This is looking particularly excellent. These two maintenance facilities kind of serve the same area. We could probably consolidate that a little bit. Maybe consolidate it down to down to one maintenance facility at some point. Still have a good amount of steel coming in. That's excellent. We should maybe look to get an upgrade. But we've actually got a load in our uh, in our stockpile at the moment. Hmm. Yeah, okay. If we could find a uranium source over here, that would be that would be really really good. A single uranium source would be excellent. It would be really, really, really particularly excellent. Do we have a food factory? We do have a food factory over here. So that's good at least. That's very, very good. Uh, can I deconstruct perhaps one additional building? I did queue this up for deletion. We're very, very close to deleting that. This water extractor over there. That maintenance facility. I don't really want to destroy any maintenance facility to be honest. Maintenance facilities are a little bit of a pain to destroy. I'll scrap a battery. I'll scrap a battery. How about that? This is ludicrous. Oh my good. We're at 99% oxygen, folks. Uh, I don't actually understand how that is possible. Genuinely do not understand how that is possible. Uh, can I build a spaceport, by the way? I can build a spaceport over here. Might be worth us building a spaceport to see if we can try and import some, some CO2. Uh, so that we can maybe try and regain some of the balance. I don't I don't really know. Uh, let's build a wind farm over here. Prioritize the construction of that wind farm. Very, very important that we have enough power to continue our, our research objectives. Yeah, very, very important indeed. And let's also see if we can try and bring some colonists over here to speed up our research. Man, as soon as we get this done, as soon as we get this done, it's good. We are in... We're in a great place. We're in a really, really, really great place. There we go. Chemicals, chemicals, chemicals. Do we have chemicals? Yeah, we got chemicals by the boatload next door. We're back up to 59 workers. Oh, heck yeah. Okay, traffic in this vicinity is a little bit active. Traffic in this zone is, is crazy. <laughs> it's just one massive zone. It's a disaster. It's a disaster. It's a disaster, but it's okay. I think the Hyperloop connections still work. So therefore, I don't think that we're going to face any issues, to be honest. I don't think that we're going to face any issues. Famous last words, of course. What do we need? One more bit of steel. We should have plenty of steel. We should have plenty of steel. We're pumping out, we're pumping out workers like there's no tomorrow. We are pumping out workers like there's no tomorrow. That is real good. That is real good. Okay, our colony, our colony is up and running. Our colony is up and running, and that is singularly brilliant. We just need more food across here now, which means I'm probably gonna see if I can try and upgrade, or at least prioritize. I'm gonna try and prioritize the uh, the inputs to the food factories, chemicals allocations, almost all towards food manufacturing. Yeah, okay. I'll uh, I'll reassign that a little bit so that we don't do 
as heavily towards food manufacturing, but yeah, we're still primarily concerned with food manufacturing. I'll throw an upgrade onto the food factory because I think that that's probably necessary. Probably necessary. We're four years out. We're four years out of this research. I refuse to believe that it's going to take us four years. I seriously refuse. I seriously refuse that idea. It's not going to happen. Okay, two more bits of steel. How are we doing steel-wise? 38 steel. Still have totally, totally, totally in excess of steel uh, at the landing site over here. Have we discovered water? Not a single peep of water in this in this desert over here. Wowzers, that is garbage. <gasps> no, I tell a lie. I tell a massive, massive, massive porcupine. We're at our building limit, but that's okay. We're gonna we're gonna build over there. We're gonna build over there very very soon indeed. That's gonna mean that we're gonna be able to maintain this colony. That is a hundred percent gonna be able to mean uh, mean that we can maintain the colony. That is super exciting. Okay, uh, deconstruct this this building, deconstruct this worker hub, and deconstruct it fast. Deconstruct it as fast as we possibly can. Let's get ready with a water extractor level one. Build that over there. Boom. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's build that and let's start resupplying. Let's start resupplying food. But more, more importantly, let's start resupplying this colony with a whole bunch of water. All right. Once we square that circle, we're actually in a great place. We're actually in a really, really good place. Yeah, we're actually in a great place. We're actually in a really, really good place. We're actually in a really, really, really good place. This area is still a complete mess. You know, don't get me wrong. It's probably going to be a complete mess forever. That Aquadome. We're at 100% oxygen. Wow. 100% oxygen. Wow. Okay. Very high. Very, very high. We are researching. We are researching hard. Look at that. Look at that. We only have a population of 33. But apparently, the fact that the rocket, uh, the fact that the rocket landing sites are in a state of total disrepair, apparently it doesn't matter. Apparently it doesn't matter even slightly. Deconstruct that solar farm over there. Okay. Right. Uh, next priority, as soon as we... As soon as we get uh, another building demolished, probably want to expand to reactivate this steel factory and this iron mine. By the way, it looks like... It looks like we've run out of parts. Have we really run out of parts? Yeah, we have run out of parts. Why have we run out of parts? Have we run out of aluminium? We might have run out of aluminium. Uh, yeah, that's straight up uh, a bit of a problem. Huh. I think that we might have run out of aluminium here. Okay, no, we haven't run out of aluminium, but we are, we are close. Okay, upgrades. Prioritize the construction, or prioritize the upgrading of this aluminium mine. And then we'll see if we can try and get an additional aluminium mine as well. The problem is, is that these these drones are under a lot of strain. They're under a lot of strain here because they're having to support the entire, the entire infrastructure of the base. And that is, of course, rather, rather a large amount of infrastructure. Which is completely meaningless. Uh, they're currently in the process of delivering resources to... Where are they delivering resources to? Is this actually operational? This area is actually operational. <laughs> Wowzers, that's kind of incredible. Wow. Okay, so this research outpost is is absolutely operational and is consuming a considerable amount of, of drone time <laughs> and drone delivery time, just moving all of the resources across here. That is That is remarkable. That is absolutely remarkable. How is this area still going? That's what I want to know. How on earth is that area still going? Huh. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy indeed. Uh, power is, of course, an issue because, of course, stupid, stupid wind power, which I hate. Why can't the wind always blow? That's what I want to know. Electronics. We have too many electronics. We have too many electronics. Uh, let's... Yeah, we might pop an upgrade over there in a sec. Might pop an upgrade over there. Is it worth throwing down an upgrade to this, uh, to this water extractor? Probably certainly is, given that we need 
lots more water than we're currently supplying. Fine. Where are we in terms of the upgrade? This upgrade is so key. This upgrade is so key. I, I wish that this upgrade had been, um, had been achieved before things went so unbelievably horrifically wrong. 72 workers. 72 workers is, is almost about the best we can hope for, I think, in the current circumstances. I don't know where they all are, though. I don't know where they're all operating. Yeah, I have no idea where they're all operating. Because there's not that many... There's not that many worker hubs which are actually operational. Yeah. Where the heck are the... Where the heck are the workers? Where the heck are my 72 workers? I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. Yeah. Zero conception of where my uh, of where my workers are currently located, but that's fine. Okay. Uh, where are we? Where are we? We're 22 months out. I feel like that's maybe the more that I look at it, a little bit of a more accurate reflection of exactly where we are. I suspect that as soon as we get these additional colonists arriving, yeah, they're all flying. They're all flying over. They're all flying over, and they're all f flying over pretty darn fast. Uh, we should also probably deprioritize this and probably turn this research outpost off. Even though we are technically getting a research bonus from it, uh, we're investing a significant amount of drone time shipping resources out there, which is less than ideal. We should just focus on the big colonies. The big colonies, making sure that we have... Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Okay, we're able to go through the research super duper fast now. As long as we're able to keep this colony completely stocked on food and more importantly water we will be just fine and we will yeah we will be done in two months if that if that that's really good okay so we get this we get this research the first bit of research in what feels like forever frankly it's been about four episodes frankly it has been four episodes uh i think uh, literally four episodes literally four episodes since we last got since we last got a little bit of research done. Sometimes you just have to you just have to endure. Sometimes you have to endure the bad times in order to in order to get to the good times. Ain't that the truth? Ain't that the truth? That's that's life for you folks. That's freaking life. That's freaking life. Okay, slight problem. We now have too many people. We now have too many people and we we have not enough food, but we literally need like one one day. One or two days. There we go. We freaking got it. Building limit plus 400. Yes, please. The thermal plant? Uh, yeah, sure. Let's go, let's go to the thermal plant. Okay, so this, this building limit has, has completely changed, has completely changed my life. Okay, so let's immediately, let's immediately start expanding. Let's expand aggressively. Let's expand aggressively. Uh, we now no longer need to worry about capping anything. What I really care about, what I really care about is expanding the number of workers and making sure that we're able to connect this area and this area. So we're going to start, we're going to start to chain out. We're going to start to chain out to a midway point. Or indeed, maybe we just get a, maybe we get a, uh, an alternative landing spot. I don't know. Either way, we need more we need more workers. We need a Hyperloop connection. I'm actually going to do two things. I'm going to get a Hyperloop connection over here. Yep. And then once that's built, I'm going to get a Hyperloop connection. I'm going to get a Hyperloop connection over here and then another one over here. Right. So that's pretty excellent. Right, it requires so much food. It requires so much food to feed a colony. It's it's actually kind of bonkers. It's actually really, really bonkers. It's so many more resources than than I uh, than I originally anticipated. It it really does take. It takes a fleet of drones to feed a village. Isn't that what they say? It takes a fleet of drones to to feed a village. Right. We have a lot of pent-up resource. We have a lot of pent-up resource. We have a lot of pent-up resource over here, specifically. Okay, so... Worker hub. Worker hub. Worker hub. Solar power plants. Mine. 
And carbon mine as well. Then a steel factory. All of this stuff is level 1, so as to consume minimum resources. There we go. Hopefully, the worker factory can be upgraded. In fact, I want to get the worker factory upgraded as a priority. I presume that we've built up a little bit of a backlog of steel. We we have we have 100% of everything. That's actually kind of obscene. In fact, that's so bad, I probably should have built, before this moment... A storage, uh, storage facility to ensure that we don't, we don't go over, we don't go over capacity. Because if we go over capacity, then we're just wasting production there. It's true. Right. Aluminium. We probably need more aluminium, more aluminum, whatever. We'll try our best to get it. This is good. We're working on expanding. We're working on expanding fast as well. That's, that's key. We don't necessarily need to go fast, but, you know. Gotta go fast, as, uh, as Sonic once said. Words to live by, I think. Right, of course, completely forgot that, uh, that the most garbage power source, wind, still exists. Hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. But that's fine. Alright, due in, oh my goodness, it's due in like 15 freaking years. Factory upgrade 3, we're not gonna be able to get factory upgrade 3. Military tech is completely useless. A dome colony? A tent city? Doesn't need pressurization? Open city? Yeah, but how do I get... How do I get... Uh, uh, how do I... Aero break nitrogen rich asteroid. I think that's what we need to do, right? I think that is exactly what we need to do. Yeah, let's aero break the nitrogen rich asteroid. Sure. Let's make that a priority for now. Okay. Power shuts down every you know, a couple of minutes because wind is a terrible source of power. Even though it technically gives us more power. More power per... More power per wind farm. More power per wind farm, but it's still... It's still garbage. Still garbage. Is there, a, like... Is there different areas of... Of wind? I don't think there's different areas of wind. I mean, surely, technically, the equator would be the windiest bit. I don't know. That... I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not a... I'm not a geologist. I don't understand... I don't understand wind. I don't even... No. I don't even want to pretend to understand wind. Uh, let's plonk down another... Another wind farm. Let's get that prioritized, too. How many resources do we have? We're still holding back a couple of resources. It's not as many as we once were, but uh, but it's a fair few. It's a fair few. Back up to 85 workers. Very, very nice. Very, very nice indeed. What's the issue here? Uh, it's aluminium. Aluminium still still working, still working away. We're we're fine for aluminium for now. Yep, keep on keep on keeping on. Let's let's continue to get more let's continue to get more infrastructure, more infrastructure, more faster. That's right, more infrastructure, more faster. Right, so we have a storage facility over here now, which should be used to store all of our excess. This is this is very good. This is very good. Okay. So, Hyperloop over... Over here. Let's do it. Let's get it built. Let's get it built. And then... One Hyperloop station in the middle, I hope. Yeah, that's... Almost certainly gonna be able to reach. Famous last words, of course. Prioritize that. Okay, good. Power is looking fine. Let's let's join this let's join this area up as a priority. Join this area up as a priority. And then let's also start to head down here. And then this. This is where this is where things start going bananas. Because 
the sheer amount of resources that are available over here, completely independent from the main base network, is what's going to save us. Really, really, really believe that to be true. I think that's the way... I think that's the way that we get out of this little... This little pickle that we found ourselves in. We're going to need to get a singular maintenance facility, I suspect. Yeah, we're going to need to get two maintenance facilities. Two maintenance facilities it is. That's fine. We can we can just about endure that. Uh, I don't want to over-saturate this area with, with, uh, with operations. You know, we don't want to be too, too taxing. But at the same time, we want to be ambitious. We want to be we want to be expanding. Back up to 87 workers. Very, very good. I don't know if you can actually allocate workers to destroyed worker hubs. Suspect that you probably can't. So that's a concern. That's a concern, and it's something that we need to be aware of. When it says 193 as a, as the cap, yeah, it's probably probably a lie. It's not not the truth. Not the truth at all. Uh, we need colonists over here. We need water over here. We're mining. We're mining water. We're mining water fast. We need to mine more water. And we don't have any more water. We do not have any more water, even though we are areologically scanning uh, about as fast as we possibly can. Good stuff. Yep, let's double down, get more chemicals. Chemicals are always good. More aluminium as well. Uh, I think that was something that was required over here, so let's do this. Honestly, it feels like we're just playing the game again, to be honest, doesn't it? But this time, I'm playing with the knowledge that I'm actually alone on Mars. And and to be honest, this is kind of this is kind of what I thought this game would be when I uh, when I originally set out. You know, it's me versus the environment. Not me versus the other half of my freaking brain. Because we all know. We all know that I am my own worst enemy. I am far and away my own worst enemy. Uh, have I unlocked every sector now, by the way? I can't seem to control the map when I'm up here. Ah, there we go. Uh, no, still have not. Still have not because I am still gathering resources from the... Uh, or on the spaceports. We're at 100% oxygen. 100% oxygen-rich environment. Okay. All right. 100% oxygen-rich environment. A little bit scary. A little bit scary. A little bit scary. Electronics are in short supply at the moment. Electronics are in short supply. Is that a... Is that a problem? Kind of. Yeah, actually, it, it kind of is. Uh, kind of is. Kind of is, and I'm not exactly happy about it. I think we're prioritizing stuff out with the base uh, a little bit too much, perhaps, at the moment. Let's get that upgraded, and let's prioritize that as well. Should be a super easy upgrade. Should be a super easy upgrade. And what's the traffic overlay saying? Traffic overlay is saying things are not terrible, but could be better. Traffic overlay. Hopefully, let's get it fixed by plonking that down over there. There we go. Prioritize that. I think that we do. We do have. We do have resources. It's just not electronics. It's just not electronics. That's the or not having electronics. That's the problem. Right. Our hyperloop is up and running. Are we able to connect? Yep. We're able to totally connect. Very very cool indeed. Okay. So worker hub. Let's worker hub out of here. go. Let's see which side gets to gets to connect first, shall we? And one more wind farm for good measure. You know, I've you know, as much as I have given wind farms uh, a rough time, I'll say. A, a very rough time. And rightfully so, because they're garbage and I hate them. But um but they've been super necessary to my success, right? Like they have been so unbelievably necessary to my success. I say success like it's like it's happened. Uh, eventual supposed success. Look at that. 142 food. 142 freaking food. That is so unbelievably great. 96 workers. We're getting there. We are getting there. My, oh my, oh my, we're getting there. 
wind farm over here. I thought I did build a wind farm over here. Apparently not. All right, there we go. We'll build a wind farm over there as well. Cool. Storage facility says... Oh boy, we got a load of resources over here. As soon as we're able to connect this area up, things are going to go crazy. I'm telling you, things are going to go crazy. Things are going to go crazy. Uh, this area also has upgraded ways, at least for a good amount of, a good amount of stuff. Uh, this assault drone factory, by the way, can absolutely categorically be deconstructed. Don't know why it still exists, to be honest with you. Probably shouldn't. Almost certainly shouldn't. Aluminium mines. Yep, we need to get these back up online as soon as possible. I say back up online like they've ever been online before. They haven't. But we can get them up online. There we go. Excellent. And let's get producing some aluminium, shall we? Wonderful. Uh, upgrade the ways right into the center of the base. We will do just that. Uh, so way upgrading should mean that transit between the outskirts and the inskirts. Sure, the outskirts and the inskirts. Uh, the outskirts and the inskirts should be should be reasonably quick. Uh, that's falling into disrepair, and it shouldn't be. It's just on the edge of maintenance range. Wowzers, that that kind of that kind of sucks, doesn't it? Is that our only source of carbon? It's not our only source of carbon. Yeah, we can actually afford to let it go. We can actually afford to let it go a little bit. Although it's irritating that I just decided to use a whole bunch of carbon on upgrading ways, but yeah, whatever. Is that out with the? That's unbelievable. You know what? It's a good excuse to get an additional solar farm. A, a good excuse. A good excuse indeed. Right. Worker hub. Worker hub, which we're working on. Electronics factory, which needs to needs to up its game, frankly. Are we okay for silicon? We're not not necessarily in a great place for silicon, but not a bad place for silicon either. Ditch that iron mine. Throw down two additional electronics factories. Throw them down next to the silicon mine over here, right? Eh? There we go. Try and deprioritize as you go, potato. I don't know what priority I don't know what priority ratings actually do. I mean, I know they obviously allow you to build stuff faster, but it seems like they just don't work consistently, so, you know, you just can't trust them. You just can't trust them. You just can't trust them. Either way, Hyperloop is almost done, which is excellent. I guess this little outreach operation that I was doing from the uh, from the westernmost base kind of wasn't necessary then, but uh, fine. Okay. Connect that up there. Excellent. One of those. And one of those. Again, would really love uranium. Would really, really, really love uranium at some point today. That would make my life just a heck of a lot easier. Let's get chemicals. Basically, anything. Anything that that is extractable, I'm, I'm looking to get. The reason that I'm looking to get is that I want this sort of inbuilt... I want this inbuilt redundancy, right? Really, really, really want this inbuilt redundancy. That Hyperloop was constructed super quickly. That Hyperloop was constructed super quickly. We're able to mobilize resources very, very rapidly when we want to now. Which is kind of great. Let's prioritize this worker hub. Let's get the one bit of electronics that we need in order to make, uh, in order to make that area work properly. And let's also prioritize this electronics factory because we also need a little bit of steel over there to make that all work uh, accordingly. 26 steel. Yeah, this area, this base has been, this base has been strained. This base has been strained for a lot of resources. We, uh, we need to make sure this time that our electronics production does not, does not completely evaporate because we need to maintain continual, and I mean continual, electronics production in order to feed the in order to feed the maintenance facilities it's just that simple and last time last time what happened i think was that the number of electronics that we needed in order to sustain our maintenance facilities in addition to all of the constructions that we were doing and the rocket launches and whatnot uh, it was just too much it was just too much to sustain and therefore it was it was a problem also, I've realized something kind of dumb. I should be building the other way in. So I should build that to there. 
And instead, okay, well, uh, mm. are we able to build from this end? Yeah, we are actually able to build from this end, so that's kind of good. Uh, maintenance facility. I think we're going to need an additional maintenance facility out here. Kind of sucks, but uh, probably going to be needed. Unless I just am happy to say goodbye to that worker hub. Probably shouldn't do that. Probably shouldn't do that, though. Right. Okay. This is good. This is the moment where we're going to connect. We're either going to get the Hyperloop up and running. In fact, the Hyperloop is now up and running. The Hyperloop is now up and running so we can supply all of this base's resource. All of this base's resource with this base's resource. Or at least part of it. Which is pretty crucial. Okay, how are we doing over here? Not doing too badly. Maintenance facility needs to get brought up online uh, as soon as we possibly can. Any sign of uranium. Literally a single little bit of uranium would go down a treat right now. Oh boy, that would be so nice. That would be so nice. Can we not supply... Can we not supply construction of this Hyperloop with... Base... Uh, with resources from this base over here? I kind of hope that that's the case. Kind of hope that that's the case. How are we doing in terms of research? Not great. Not great at all. Food is... Food is still the limiting factor here. And, uh, and in turn, water is still the limiting factor here. But that's okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting down to this area. We're getting down to this area super duper quickly, actually. Much, much more quickly than I originally anticipated. A level 3 water extractor. Let's go. Let's go. Hyperloop. Ah, that's the connection. That's the connection established. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, so let's finish up... Let's finish up doing that. We still have a whole bunch of resources. We still have a whole bunch of resources at the landing site. That's that's very good. Are they going to be able to commute between each other? I hope so. Look at the number of workers that we have. The number of workers that we have should be absolutely going through the roof right now. Because this worker factory should be working in overtime. In order to increase the number of workers up tremendously. That is so unbelievably brilliant. That is really, really good. So the only thing that we really need to worry about now is power. Power is power is a concern. We might even start to see a couple of workers, yeah, dispatch beyond the realms of our base, our base as it stands, and uh, and spread out a little bit more, a little bit more widely. All right, build that over there. Cool. Let's get a, another hyperloop terminal. Right over here. Take it as far as we can. Yes, good. Prioritize that. That's that's what we're after. To be honest, what's stopping us from just connecting these two these two hyperloop systems together? Nothing is exactly what's stopping us. There is nothing that's stopping us. There is absolutely nothing that's stopping us. Okay, we're back up to 165 workers. We're back up to 165 workers. It certainly doesn't feel like it. It certainly doesn't feel like it. But that is supposedly where we are right now. Okay, all of the resources that are more challenging to, to build should be moved from this base over here. Deconstruct that. We've got the silicon mine up and running. That's okay. That doesn't have power over there. That's a bit of a problem. There we go. Solar farm, prioritize that. Uh, deserted living quarters. Yeah, you know what? This is, for the first time ever, we're going to start expanding. We're going to start expanding outwards, and we're going to see if we can try and take some additional research objectives. That's very exciting. It's unbelievably exciting. Good stuff. Good stuff, eh? Good stuff. Okay, deprioritize as you go, potato. Deprioritize as you go. Power. It's again, just out with the power range. That's so unbelievably infuriating. But at the end of the day, uh, at the end of the day, I'm not... 
I'm not expecting this to fail. I am very, very optimistic that this is going to work absolutely as it should. We now have a continual connection throughout the entirety of the base here. So what we need to do, what we need to do is we need to be very, very selective in what buildings we want to repair. This building, for example, we want to we want to almost certainly repair. Although, to be honest, is it better perhaps if we're just able to build like a brand new maintenance facility? Would that work? If we just decide to build a brand new maintenance facility here, will that work as intended? I presume that we're still allowed to commute out at this Hyperloop station, even though technically it's been destroyed or it's in a state of, of ruin. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Electronics are really our, our only problem. Electronics literally are only our, our only problem right now. Yep. And even even that, even that doesn't really represent a significant challenge for us. Which is pretty good. Uh, we'll get this maintenance facility up and running. We get this maintenance facility up and running. Then that's going to allow us to repair this area. We get the Hyperloop up and running in just a second. Maybe we want to look at upgrading some ways somewhere. This maintenance facility is going to repair this area. That worker hub gets prioritized. If you don't prioritize things, you don't get you don't get stuff built. Uh, that seems to be that seems to be the reoccurring the reoccurring problem. Back up to 166 workers. Excellent, 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 excellent. I don't want to say that we've done it. We're not out of the woods yet. But we're in a really, really good place. 190 food. 190 food. Are we able to supply this colony continuously? Pretty much. Pretty much. Pretty much. This is not the final destination for the colonies, though. This is not the final destination for the colonies. Uh, this colony is also suffering a little bit because of water. We don't really have much water over here. We got one source. One source, and that's about it. The final destination for the colonies is down here. A hundred percent. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. I don't know what the water source is, but... Okay, it's not actually that good. But there's gotta be some good... Yeah, that's a massive water source down there. Yeah. So, uh, we need to sort of consider, I think, the way that the, the game wanted us to, to play this. I think the game really, really expected me, as soon as I defeated Carmine... Carmen? Carmine. As soon as I defeated Carmine, I was expected to immediately jump into the enemy bases and expand from there. And given the fact that there's a whole bunch of really, really, really rich veins, uh, it would be much, much easier to sustain large-scale, you know, operations such as massive special projects or, or colonies or, or whatever. Uh, but that didn't really transpire to be the case didn't really transpire to be the case because I didn't really I didn't really capitalize on that. Uh, okay, so I did build this maintenance facility here. I did build this maintenance facility here. Let's have a little look see. Can I build a fusion power plant? I can build a fusion power plant by the way. I I've been sort of holding off on doing it. I'm kind of curious to see if this works. If we build this fusion power plant here, sort of as I think we should maybe try and do. I'm curious. I'm curious, will this allow us to feed the maintenance facility, right? Will it allow us to feed the maintenance facility and therefore will us will it allow us to get a to get back on our feet? It will it just sort of propagate outwards in a in a big wave of, of maintenance? It might. It might. We can we can but hope. You never know. We might be we might be back in the game quicker than we uh, quicker than we anticipated. This is looking very, very good. The number of worker drones, the recovery that we've had here is pretty ludicrous, actually. Uh, let's go here to... Let's go there to there. Sure. All right, so carbon and steel is all that is required in order to get this Hyperloop connection up and running. Once the Hyperloop connection is up and running, Transit between areas super duper easy. We don't even need to we don't even need to blink and the And the robots are already exactly where we need them to be 169 workers. That's so 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 good Okay, that's definitely within repair range once the next uh, once the next batch of of, uh, of repair drones are up and running We should be fine. How's the fusion power plant coming along? Not bad, not bad at all. It's uranium that's taking that's taking a while. 
I mean, that's not surprising even slightly. The reason that it's not surprising even slightly is that our uranium is all stored somewhere over here. And in order for a drone to go and get it, 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 takes, a, it takes a pretty significant period of time. But we can do it now. We can at least we can at least build the fission plants. It's not super efficient. The reason, by the way, that I'm building a fission plant right here is that uh, is that we have we have the uranium. As it turns out, it's stored in this storage center right over here. We have 166 electronics here. How the heck did we lose? I say lose. How the heck did we get into a situation where this ludicrous situation happened? I have no idea. The reason that I built a fission power plant is because it supplies far and away the most power. If we, if we get, if we get a load of power, then it's not going to be sucked away by all of the, the, the buildings outside. Uh, and it should allow us to just, uh, to just, uh, to just expand outwards. It should allow us to just expand outwards with the maintenance facilities. What I hope is going to happen, this maintenance facility is going to work overtime. I hope. I mean, I know it's going to work overtime. I hope that it's going to be able to fix up everything here. And this is going to allow us to get all of these additional worker hubs back up and running, the Hyperloop station back up and running, the spaceport back up and running, unlocking Sector 3. Why don't we prioritize this for a second? Prioritize Spaceport um, Prioritize spaceport 3, because delivering 10 chemicals is going to take all of 2 seconds. So, that's something to do. That's something to do. Maintenance drones are, are doing what? Are they maintaining anything? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. How's the space elevator looking? I spent a lot of effort and energy on the space elevator. Gather resources infinity. It's okay, so it's going to take a long time then. Literally infinity time. It's rather a long period of time, video game, don't you think? Okay, let's see where these drones decide to go. If they could go to a maintenance station, that would be cool. Alternatively, they could fly off into the unknown. Where are they going? Where the heck are they going? What the heck is happening? Are they going to get dispatched to somewhere else? Also, hold up. We've got a couple of maintenance facilities over here. We have a couple that are working. Ah, so they're they're repairing the maintenance facilities first. I see what's up. I see what's up. Okay, so the maintenance facilities, uh, or the maintenance drones, supposedly can go longer range. Like, the, the maintenance drones can actually fly to other maintenance facilities and can repair them. That's super good. I don't know what the range is. But that's incredible. That means that we're going to be back on our feet in a much, much quicker time. That's really, really good news. Okay. Speaking of good news. Speaking of good news. Maintenance facility here. Maintenance facility. Turn this on. Turn this on. Prioritize the construction of this. Let's go. Power. Fission power plants. No, not a fission power plant. That's the wrong type of power plant. Wind farm is, is appropriate. Wind farm is what we're after. Wind farm, let's go. Wind farm, let's go. Maintenance facility, let's also go. Let's get this let's get this built. This wind farm has been operating for a while down at the bottom here. It must have just been built. It must have just been built. Uh, any sources of uranium nearby? No sources of uranium nearby. That's that's so disconcerting. That's so unbelievably disconcerting. Yeah. Weird. In the extreme. Did our spaceport get done with... With the special project? Unlocking Sector 3. No, I think that we require the maintenance drones to get up and running first. I think that's what we require. This is working. Look, this is working. I'm telling you, everyone. This is actually working. Like, we are... We are in the process of reactivating a dormant base. It sounds crazy to say, but it's actually happening in front of our very eyes. We are... We are step-by-step step reactivating... Reactivating the base. It's it's just that simple. You know, we are... We're working overtime to get... To get coverage of the maintenance facilities... That's really good. That's really good. We're close. We're very close. So yeah, it does look like they're all... Yeah, it looks like they're all heading to other maintenance facilities, which is... 
which is pretty excellent. We have plenty of polymers. Uh, I think that we've got plenty of electronics. I mean, we do. We do have a load of electronics. A load of them are in this storage facility, though. 162. So, I don't know. I don't know what that means in terms of how we go about fixing things, but but whatever. Sector 7 has been has been unlocked. We we've got the chemicals. We should be able to unlock the sector now then. Looks as though even even at low structural integrity, we should be able to build a satellite and uh, and unlock the next sector. Very 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 exciting. What's important is that we just let the maintenance facilities do their thing. They've got a lot of work to they got a lot of work to do. They got a lot of work to do. We got a lot of a lot of stuff to repair. But it's actually freaking working. Like look at the look at the activity that's happening over here. We're seeing we're seeing activity up at the top as well. This is another area of of, of high value interest for us, for sure. Okay, maintenance facility, maintenance facility over here is producing drones. This is another really, really crucial area. Presumably, we're going to see the maintenance drones prioritize uh, reconstruction of the maintenance facility, I would imagine. Okay, and then that doesn't happen, and then that makes me question what the heck, what the heck am I even, what the heck am I even talking about? Uh, power facilities, maybe? I don't know. Is it a, isn't it, is it an intelligent maintenance grid? I.e., if there is no power here? I don't know. I have no idea. Either way, it's the maintenance facility which we need to... Which we need to which we need to rely on. Uh, let's upgrade the ways. Let's upgrade the ways here. So between the hyperloop and the maintenance facility, we will get we will get some uh, some upgraded ways. Should allow us to speed things up just a smidgeroonie. Okay, you know what? I've had an idea. I've had an idea. If maintenance drones can fly, I mean obviously they can fly, but if they can fly a long distance, what's stopping me? What's stopping me from doing a little something like this? Right? Prioritize all of this. Prioritize all of this and just double down on producing maintenance drones, at least in the immediate to short term future. I will be able to do it. You know, we'll definitely be able to do this. A hundred percent. This is, this is, I mean, top 10 greatest comebacks of all time, right? Top 10 greatest comebacks of all time. I am immensely proud at, at how this has turned out. And I think it could have gone, it could have gone, uh, it could have gone another way. I think, you know, things could have fizzled out. Things could have fizzled out, but with a little bit of perseverance and a lot of salt, we got there in the end. I only... I only had to complain about prioritization a good couple of hundred times in order to in order to in order to feel better about myself. Right. This maintenance facility has somehow managed to be demaintenanced. Don't quite understand how that happened, but that's okay. Let's get another maintenance facility in here then, if that's the case. And we'll prioritize the construction of that as well. Good stuff. I mean, there's just so much stuff to repair, right? I, I'm blaming the maintenance facilities for not maintenancing, maintenancing enough. But it's it's really my fault, because there is so much to repair, right? There is so much to repair, they don't really have a choice. Okay, polymers and electronics. Let's get these delivered to these maintenance facilities over here. And then that should allow us to hopefully dispatch our, our drones, our droids, far and wide. Again... Not entirely sure why uh, the video game decides to prioritize which building, whatever, whichever buildings it decides to prioritize, but it does what it does. Uh, I am, I am, uh, I'm not the the judge of that, because it looks like it looks like the maintenance facilities that do get repaired are like operational for a second and then sort of fizzle out. Yeah, it looks like they don't really have the the option. Looks like they don't really have the option to repair much, you know? Okay. Maintenance overlay, just for a second here. Yeah, but with a good a good high concentration of them here, we should be able to repair a lot. 
Still doesn't explain where the heck they're going, but yeah, whatever. It would be perhaps nicer if they just decided to... If they just decided to chill out. In fact, here's an idea. Here's an idea. Perhaps I've been looking at it the wrong way. Is this maintenance grid like a massive... I think that, yeah. So if we just connect up the maintenance grid, right? Oh my goodness. You can actually see. You can actually see the maintenance facilities as they're... As they're flicking on and off. Uh, okay, here's an idea. Here's an idea. Here's an idea. This these maintenance this maintenance grid is now entirely connected. Let's run a test. Actually, unfortunately, it looks like this maintenance grid somehow managed to manage to get back in working order. Turn that back on. Turn that glass kiln back on. I was gonna run a test. I was gonna run a test of. Uh, if we connected up the entirety of the maintenance grid, would the robots be able to fly from one part of it, any part of it, to another part of it? That may very well be the case. And if that is indeed the case, then we have a whole bunch of maintenance drones, which are, I guess, latent? They're just chilling... Uh, turn that back on. That's Okay, that's everything turned back on. Yeah, we've got a whole bunch of maintenance drones. We've got a whole bunch of maintenance drones that are over here that are just chilling around the different maintenance facilities. Six out of six, as you can see. Why don't we see if we can try and connect those... Those, uh, those, those maintenance networks. Irregular terrain. Fine. Uh, yeah. And then... There. Okay, I mean, it's a little... It's a little bit of a... It's a little bit of a gamble. But, I mean, what do we got to lose, right? We've got so many resources. Our, our key is... Our key is trying to use them. Our key is absolutely trying to use them. Uh, I don't think that I'm going to need to prioritize this, but it might be worth doing nonetheless. Uh, getting the high concentration of maintenance facilities in the center of the base here definitely will make a difference. Definitely looks to be making a difference. I just want to make a... I want to make a difference faster, you know? Okay. One more. Perfect. Good stuff. Excellent, 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 excellent. Okay, so let's get this prioritized. Let's get this prioritized, this prioritized, prioritized, and this prioritized. Of course, you can never prioritize too much stuff. Although, we are probably running short on electronics. Current demand is 6.5, current production is 4.8. So yeah, we need, we need to produce more. Activity is good, though. Activity is very, very good. Activity is very, very good. And as long as we're able to keep these maintenance facilities uh, completely completely stocked up and producing, don't think that we're going to have any issues, to be honest. Do not think that we're going to have any issues. Look at the activity. Look at the freaking activity, folks. This is incredible. Our food has completely disappeared. Completely disappeared. Food is all gone. Goodbye food. Uh, but apart from the food situation... Everything else is fine. Everything else is completely fine. Man, I think this is gonna be I think this is gonna be good actually. I think this is actually gonna work. Because we have 126, 128 maintenance drones over here. Uh, that are just sort of chilling. Chilling around, doing nothing, not very much. Turn that back online. Look at this. Okay, wonderful. Right. Time for some worker hubs over here. Because I don't think that we have any... don't think we have any worker hubs over here. That's all. There we go. I bet you if I had a little look at the traffic overlay, it would, it would be sad. It would be sad. Alright. But that should be a little bit better. Alright. Yeah, it's a, it's a little sad. It's a little sad. It's a little sad. Similarly, over here, we could definitely do with, uh, what, plonking down one, maybe two worker hubs. Irregular terrain? Really? Looks fine to me, but, uh, 
Excellent. And this worker hub needs to be turned back on. Don't understand why that one was turned off, but uh, but hey ho. Okay, so a couple of additional worker hubs. A couple of additional worker hubs go a long way. All right. Where are we on the maintenance repair dealio? Not in a great place. Not a great place. Looks like our other maintenance facilities have started to atrophy a little bit. Also, the game... The game has noticeably slowed down, which I think actually is a good thing, because it means that it means that I'm actually running more operations simultaneously. In other good news, we are making very, very significant progress towards researching this arrow-breaking asteroid thingamabobber, which is which is really, really nice indeed. Uh, working on the worker hub over there. How much steel have we got here? We got a decent amount of steel. We got a decent amount of steel here. Once these worker hubs are all completely finished, should prioritize a couple of these. Once they're all finished, we should have more workers down here, which is going to make things just a heck of a lot easier. We also have more worker facilities, which is also a good thing. A very, very good thing, in fact. The 100% oxygen remains a problem. Remains a problem. Assault Drone Factory. We can ditch the Assault Drone Factory. We do not need either of these Assault Drone Factories or any of the Drone Hives, to be honest with you. The Drone Hives are power consumptive... power consumptive black holes that will just suck power out of the system. Yeah. Very much so. Okay. Maintenance facility. Let's get this maintenance facility online. Come on, let's get this worker hub done, and then let's get this maintenance facility done too. We're so close. We're so close to just seeing if we can utilize all of these 140 lazy drones to repair the rest of... to repair the rest of the base. And to be honest, the rest of the base is doing not too badly. The rest of the base is doing not too badly. Certainly... Certainly doing better than I expected. I'm saying that a lot, but I, I sincerely mean it. I, I am doing... A lot less badly than I anticipated, given the kind of crazy circumstances that we found ourselves in at the end of the last episode. Right? Special site revealed. Ooh. Wait, what? What the heck is this? We decided... What? what? There's a special site right on... Loitana Ruins. Uh, okay, I mean... Fine. I didn't realize that that was like a... I didn't realize that that was a special site before now. Very, very strange. Uh, it looks like we got Sector 7, by the way. It looks like we got Sector 7. There is a mission objective that we need to explore over here. This is very, very unique, in fact. Research the old landing site. That looks like my, my lander. That looks like my type of lander. I wonder if there was a previous operation, much like mine, that uh, that failed. Well, there you go, eh? There you go. Allocation of iron. Let's throw... I mean, it's it's already mostly going to steal production anyway. Uh, yeah, so are we are we almost done this? We're almost done this. We We do have a little bit of steel production. Not a tremendous amount, though. Worker hub is up and running. Okay, maintenance facility is now working. The maintenance facility is now working. 150. Just shy of 150 drones, basically. Basically shy of 150 drones. Uh, can we see what the sector load here is? Sector load is 17.5%. 17.5%. Whereas the sector load, presumably, for here... Is 11%. Okay, I don't know how that works. I don't know how that is calculated. Uh, but either way, I think ensuring that we have connections between all of our all of our maintenance facilities is pretty important. And there is no connection at the moment that is uh, that is between this one and uh, and this one. So let's freaking do this. Let's let's try and mobilize all of our drones. This is very very exciting. Oh, there's also drones over here. It says that they're in, in a state of rubble, but I want to know if that's actually the case. I also want to see if there's any... If there's any way that I can rescue these... Uh, these bits. 
Looks like I can, you know. Let's give this a little test, shall we? Let's give this a little test. All right. Can we get this done? One last singular bit of steel, please. And we're going to see if 150 of our drones magically disappear. It says that we've got 36 maintenance facilities. What does that mean? It means that we've only got 36 maintenance facilities. No, I appreciate that. But what does it really mean? Also, the good thing about this setup is that our power is uh, is separate. Okay, my entire teams find the site endlessly fascinating. In our current mission, we use ant units to carry our artificially fertilized eggs. So the only way twins would exist in colonies is if they traveled together from Earth, an unlikely event. I've been reading the Gemini Project report. Some of the Earthside twins reported sleep disorders and shortness of breath, as if they were affected by what their twins were going through here on Mars. Cool. All right. That's, uh, that's a nice little story. A nice little story indeed. Okay. Can I get this... Can I get this, uh, this last bit of steel, please? Also prioritize that, and prioritize that too. Just to see if this does actually work. Okay, we want to see if we can deconstruct. Like, I don't even, can we even deconstruct? I don't even know if we can deconstruct, but maybe we can at least get the resources out of here. Right? It's pretty key. Right, come on, one last bit. One last bit of steel. One last bit of steel. Oh, we're so close. Okay, it's arrived. It's off on the Hyperloop. 150. Remember that number. Remember that number, folks. 147. Oh! It looks like there's a connection. It looks like there's a connection. Are all of the robots gonna be... gonna be mobilized? There's not a connection. There's not a connection. There's not a connection yet, though. There's not a connection. We need to connect one more. We need to connect one more. We have to. This is a... This is a test. This is a... This is a test. Okay, we gotta... We gotta throw this in here. Uh, we gotta throw this in here. We gotta throw this in here. Prioritize that. And then prioritize the construction of this maintenance facility. Yes, I know. We've already gone a an hour and 26 minutes. But what can I say? I am a, I'm a stickler for science. Wowzers, we got our spaceport back up and repaired. We're building the satellite. We're launching the satellite to Sector 3 very, very shortly. That's very, very nice. This is actually working. This is actually working. Certainly the, the original center of the old base looks to be coming back up online very, very soon indeed. 183 workers. I am surprised at how easy it has been. To just completely, to just completely restart the base like nothing ever happened. That's kind of obscene to me. That's, that's absolutely kind of obscene to me. I, I really have no idea how that's, how that's been allowed to happen. It's kind of fantastic that it is happening though. Gotta be honest. Kind of dig it. Dig it in a really, really major way. How you can, well, not necessarily. I, I was going to say, you know, uh, it's it's amazing how you can screw up this considerably and still come back from the from the brink. But I mean, you know, screwing up, sure, maybe technically, but at the end of the day, it's only really set us back by a couple of years. And even this even this experience has been very informative, I would say, very 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 informative. Come on then, let's. Let's get this, let's get this finished. Let's wrap this episode up. For science, I have done, I have done much. I'm very curious to see, will this link up our, will this link up our maintenance network? Will it all work? Aero break a nitrogen rich asteroid. Yes, freaking please. Let's go. Uh, Demios collision. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that as well. What the heck, eh? All right. Maintenance facility, 161 maintenance drones. We don't have power. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Presumably, it's not going to work without power. Ah, oh, that's so infuriating. That's so infuriating. I thought that I was... I was so close. I was so close to, to finishing up for science, but, uh, but apparently... Apparently not. 150 maintenance drones. And I've never been more curious to see exactly what the heck happens to them. Okay, what are we doing? We're making an additional landing site here. We need 16 bits of aluminium. And we're close. We're close. 
What the heck is happening over here, by the way? I don't know what the heck is happening over here. Are we... Are we filling up... I see what the issue is. So we're filling up food factories. We're filling up food factories with food. That's the... That's the concern. Or that's the... That's what's happening. Um... Yeah. Kind of good. Kind of good that that's happening. Also kind of problematic because food factories should not be wildly independent of the colonies. The colonies need need to be need to be uh, need to be next to food factories. It's pretty much that simple. It's pretty much that simple. Uh, okay, come on, build this, build this, please. I'm I'm really getting a little a little perturbed as to why we haven't been able to to get this uh, to get this all sorted. Uh, we're still. We're still sending out maintenance drones by the boatload. It's still not enough to supply all of the all of the things that need fixing. But if we get this up and running, then that would be great. Uh, let's build let's build a fission power plant over here as well. Sure. What the heck? Maybe we can have a little bit of a competition to see whether the fission power plant gets finished first, or indeed the solar farm gets finished first. Says that we've got 428 glass. I am not sure if I believe that. It's a little bit of an assertion. Maybe we have 420 glass somewhere. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. It's coming at long last. Excellent. Okay, that's two out of three bits of glass. Our other bit of glass supposedly resides in this food factory right here. And... It should be coming. It should be coming. Come on. Come on. Just get it done. 186 workers. 186 workers is a heck of a lot of workers. And yet, it still doesn't feel like enough. Also, looks like we were able to get rid of that facility. Uh, we'll ditch that worker hub then. Looks like we were able to... Yeah, it looks like we were able to delete the maintenance facility there. It was underwater. Uh, we'll build another one of these things. Also, the game... The game got, uh... The game got very, very laggy all of a sudden. Which makes me think, are we mobilizing all of our drones? I think we might be mobilized. Look at that! We're mobilizing all of our drones! Look at that! 160 drones all on the move. Crazily enough, they're flying directly. This is incredible! Look at this! Look at this. We're going to repair absolutely everything. The game is the game is suffering as a consequence, though. We're going to repair everything at the same time. This is marvelous. This is 16 times speed, by the way. Wowzers. Okay, so I would expect all of our maintenance facilities to be brought back up online. And I would actually expect every single building to be brought back up online. Yeah. Legitimately. Wowzers. Okay, that was fantastic. I'm super glad that we decided to do that. I think that was a really, really good decision, by and large. I think that was a very, very good decision. Wow, this is crazy. What a swarm, eh? What a swarm of robots. Wowzers. Wowzers, wowzers, wowzers. 227... 227 worker hubs. I don't think that the worker hubs... I don't think that the worker hubs... Uh, stop counting towards your total if they've been destroyed. I just don't think that they're able to operate a drone if they're if they're destroyed. Okay, we're down to 121 robots. The good news is is that everything is sharing the load now, right? So given that they're all connected, we hopefully shouldn't have that problem ever again. Well, apart from these 3, which is fine. It's very small. Yeah, we shouldn't really have that problem ever again. Look at that. They're even migrating over the South Pole. That's crazy. That's crazy. What an operation, eh? What an operation. They're still going. They're still going. They're swarming. This is remarkable. This is absolutely remarkable. This is what a comeback looks like, folks. Wowzers. And it's just that easy. It's just that easy to completely go from a state of total disrepair where you have one single functioning base to this to this 
to this. I mean, we should throw down a maintenance facility over over here to ensure that there's a connection in this vicinity as well. Uh, and then that's going to allow all of this stuff to get repaired. I guess that's why this area originally fell into such a state of disrepair. If only I realized this earlier. In fact, to be honest, it probably wouldn't have changed much. Maybe it changed. A, maybe it would have changed a, a couple of things. But this is this is when it's really it's really mattered. Looks like we're able to output a a pretty significant number of maintenance drones. Total capacity is 396. We've got a very very high number of maintenance drones that are still uh, that are still hanging around. A lot of stuff is getting repaired. This is incredible. This is incredible. I haven't even talked about my, my problems maintaining colonists uh, for a while. But uh, but yeah, I, I have problems maintaining colonists. We, we, need more, we need more focused food production. But to be honest, food production, colonist production, not necessarily the focus of, uh, of this episode. The focus of this episode has been recovering to a point where we, where we regain control of our base. Uh, and can I be brutally honest? That has succeeded. That has succeeded so much more elegantly than I ever anticipated. That, that is incredible. That is absolutely incredible. Uh, this area is still completely disconnected from the network. We need to throw down one worker hub over here. We need to throw down one worker hub over there. Uh, we did used to have a Hyperloop terminal. Oh, it's lagging. It's lagging. It's lagging. It's lagging. We did used to have a Hyperloop terminal somewhere. Uh, was this Hyperloop terminal just connected directly to, to there? No, it wasn't. Yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, okay, well, we'll just get a Hyperloop terminal in the middle here. Sure. Something like that is perfect. Uh, we'll prioritize the construction of that. Uh, most importantly, if we, yep, if we build this, if we, uh, if we build this, then this will hopefully allow us to access the remainder of the base, which is pretty excellent. And just like that, we're pretty much we're pretty much back to where we were. Sure, there are a couple of uh, additional repairs to be done, but those repairs are going to be done with the strength of this area behind us, uh, which is really, really wonderful indeed. Uh, we're running low on electronics again, but you know what? We're going to have to deal with that in the next episode. This has been a monster. This has been a monster episode, but it's been a brilliant one. Holy cow, I can't even begin to touch on all of the fantastic things that have happened over the course of this episode. Next time, we actually need to return to our mission of terraforming, uh, of terraforming the planet. I hope that that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, ladies and gents, thank you ever so much for watching this episode. Uh, of, uh, of Per Asper. My name, of course, has been Obito Potato. Thanks as ever to the fantastic patron supporters. Patron.com forward slash Obito Potato. Thanks to Banana, Ananas, C Senpai, and Aurelio for being the three $25 plus tier patrons. Thank you very much for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye.